Now, let's build a basic circuit to light up an LED. You can click and drag parts from the components list over on the right into the main window to edit your circuit. Add an LED, a resistor, and the 9 volt battery. The resistor is a special part that helps prevent too much current from flowing through the LED and burning it out. You can click and drag on a blank area of the screen to pan your view around. You can also use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. Don't panic if you lose track of your circuit. Simply click the Zoom to Fit button in the upper left. You can click and drag individual parts of the circuit to rearrange them. You can also select a part and then click the Rotate button to rotate it. To add wires connecting parts of your circuit, hover your mouse over a terminal or connection point on one of the components. Click to start the wire. Click anywhere on the screen to create a bend in the wire and then continue until you connect it to the terminal of another part. After you've created the wire, you can click and drag to move the bend points and double click to create a new bend point. You can change the color of a wire by selecting it and then using the drop down menu to pick a new color. In electronics, we typically use red for positive. Add two more wires to your circuit, one connecting the cathode of the LED to the resistor and one connecting the resistor to the black or negative terminal of the battery. Now, while technically this circuit would work, it's kind of messy. Our wires are all the same color and some of them are crisscrossing each other. It's important to color code your wires and keep your wiring neat because this can make it easier to find and fix problems as you start to build more complicated circuits. For example, in this case, I'm going to change this wire to black so it matches the negative terminal of the battery and I'm going to add some more bend points to route it around the 9 volt battery so the wires aren't crossing each other. When you're all done building your circuit, click the Start Simulation button. This will simulate your circuit and you should see the LED light up. If your LED does not light up, double check your wiring. For example, here, the LED doesn't light up when I press the Start Simulation button, but if I look at the circuit, you'll see that it's missing a wire, so I have an open circuit and no current can flow through the LED. Here, the LED doesn't light up even though I have all three wires connected. Look closely and you'll see that the connections to the LED are backwards. The cathode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. LEDs only let current flow through them in one direction, so in this case, the LED will not light up. A single misplaced or missing wire can prevent your circuit from working. So if your circuit doesn't work as expected when you press the Start Simulation button, you should always double check your wiring.